Hey, what's going on guys? Lewis Young here. And today I'm gonna to give you guys a few tips on how to gain weight, fill out, build mass if you consider yourself a hard gainer. So first of all, what is a hard gainer? So a hard gainer is someone that is skinny, slim, they struggle to build mass, they struggle to grow muscle, even get fat. Like these people just, some people just are slim and skinny and naturally that's the way their body is. Firstly, you need to remember there are only that this is directed at two different types of people this video. So one, we've got actual hard gainers, people that do struggle to put on weight. And we've got other people that they feel like they're a hard gainer, but in actual fact, they're just doing they're just doing things wrong. So let's start. Number one, the most important thing, calories. You need to make sure you're eating enough calories. If you are eating more calories than you burn, you're gonna put on weight. That is just the way it is. So a couple of tricks that you guys can do to help you get more calories in. Because some people just can't handle a lot of calories and, um, and some people do struggle to eat. So one thing that I used to do is just to kind of like, not trick myself, but kind of get a head start on my day. So when I wanted to put on weight, in the morning I would make a shake and in that shake would be milk, it would be oats, gluten-free oats actually for me because I'm celiac, but any oats are fine. Um, bananas, peanut butter. Uh, I would even chuck a bit of ice cream in there sometimes. Basically, what I'm trying to do is pack it out of calories and I would aim for like a thousand calories and a hundred grams of carbs. Bam, I knock that back and I've got a massive head start on my day. Another thing you can do is adding little bits in to your food to boost the calories. If you're cooking rice, once you finish, a teaspoon of olive oil, you're gonna add calories in. If you're making a salad, chuck some avocado in, chuck some, chuck some nuts in, chuck some seeds in. Okay, these calories are gonna be growing. Okay, make sure you're getting your protein in, obviously. Um, and I feel like if you are truly a hard gainer, obviously keep an eye on your health, but it doesn't have to be completely clean. In my experience, it's much easier to get in calories if it is a little bit dirty. So it's up to you on that one. Tip number two, consistency. You have to be on it day in, day out with your diet. Your calories have to be high. Your training, you have to be training hard, training properly, training consistently. And if you don't do this, you're gonna get, you're gonna get these peaks and troughs, okay? You're gonna start gaining weight, then you're inconsistent, you're gonna drop the weight, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do this. But in actual fact, there was a point where you were gaining weight, and then there's a point where you're losing that weight again. And you're up and down, and then at the end of it, you're kind of in the same place, you think, this doesn't work for me. So consistency is truly key. I know you hear it everywhere, but it's true. Let's go on to training. Your training, you have to be, you can't just turn up to the gym and do what you feel like doing or being consistent. You, you, you need a plan um, and you, you need to be progressively overloading, okay? So you might have heard the term progressive overload before. So get your plan together, make sure you know what you're doing and you need to track the reps, the sets, the weight. So each week you can go right on the bench press, Last week, I did 10 reps at this weight, and I did three sets, for example. This week, I'm gonna do 12 reps. Or this week, I'm gonna up the weight by 2.5 kilos, five kilos. Or this week, feeling good, I'm gonna chuck an extra set, okay? And you need to track that. And then the following week, you go, okay, this is what I did then. This is how I'm gonna make it more intense this time. This is how I'm gonna challenge myself a little bit more this time. Okay, so you need to be constantly progressing and overloading. Progressive overloading can also apply to your food. So if you do struggle to eat, you can go, right, these are my calories this week. Okay, you track it, you hit your calories. The following week, you're gonna go, right, this is what I had last time. Okay, I'm gonna increase my calories here. I'm gonna add, say, 50 grams of carbs this week. See how I get on, track it, hit your macros. And the next week, you might increase something else, okay? So calories are constantly increasing as well. Also, use supplements. If you, if you struggle to get your protein in, use protein shakes. When you're making your protein shakes, you can easily, it's so easy to get extra calories in a protein shake. 
Try creatine. If you haven't used creatine, five grams a day. This will help you improve your strength, your performance in the gym, which is gonna allow you to build more muscle, increase your weight. And lastly, if you really are a hard gainer, you need to make sure you're not wasting calories. If you're a hard gainer and you're only eating a certain amount of calories and then you're running every day, or you're doing a, a ton of cardio, you're kind of wasting those calories. You need those calories need to be put to good use. Not that that's not good use, but this is not optimal. So make sure your program doesn't include a ton of training styles that are just gonna drain your calories when you need them to grow. I was actually a hard gainer. Um, I've been training for over 10 years now, but I was skinny. I was a very skinny little boy. And um, my parents used to call me Mowgli, a uh, skinny little guy from like, Jungle Book. Um, but we're doing all right now. So I hope this guys, I hope this helped you. Um, if you are a hard gainer, I completely understand. I've been there and I've got through it. I've got past it. So. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna be trying to post every day now to help you guys out. If there's any videos you wanna see, put them in the comments down below. Um, don't forget to tap the subscribe button, wherever it is, I don't know, and the little bell so you guys get notified every time I post, which is gonna be much more regular now. So stay tuned, make sure you follow all my other accounts and I'll see you guys in the next video.